I'm back looking at this Dyson DC07 again. In one video I showed you how to change the filter in here. So that'll be in my videos. I'll probably make a Dyson playlist for that. But as you can see I've got the cylinder removed off this one. And it's up here on the workbench. So it starts off looking something like this. Um, first thing you do is take out three torque screws out of the top here. There's one, two and three. And they look like this little black Torx head screws and the screwdriver I used was a Torx uh, TX10 screwdriver. I'm gonna get in there. So that gets those out. Then using a bit of brute force you just pull this off and it's got this rod inside that releases the door on the bottom. So with that door released you press this clip here and basically just pull to get the cylinder off. And then in here, you can see how dirty it is. And that should be all yellow. And it's got big layers of crumbs. So we'll clean this off. But what I'm really concerned about is that all these little holes here, about 50% of them are clogged. And that, that shouldn't be. So to get this apart, so this is loose, but kind of attached to here. So perhaps this whole thing slides off. Let's just check for screws in here as well. I don't think there are any, but it is pretty grimy. Yeah, so it looks like that will come off sliding down, but it appears to be caught on this rubber. Oh, there we go. So that came out. That's the rubber end there. Now, maybe let's try levering this again. So these, these fins here sit in a little groove. So there's something... stopping them coming out and it could be dirt. I've tried to lever it and I'm not getting anywhere with that. I would often say put it in a vise but I don't know if that's going to do it. It is kind of clicking as I pull those fins. Almost like it has a ridge to get over or something. Yeah, it seems to be moving. Oh, okay, so that bit comes out there. And then maybe this piece? Yeah, that just falls out. So, I'm at the point now, you can see the cyclone fins in here. I think this is all bonded. I don't see any more screws. So I'm going to give it all a clean. So working within the constraints of all of the noise in this place, how did this go together? Well. This one went on first, and we remember from these little notches where it went. What's interesting is these holes seem to have an alignment. They don't go straight through. So you see these, this one here goes in that way, and this one here goes in that way. You can see it's not 100% clean, but it's certainly not blocked. This one here, like this. So, like that. This should go on anyway, but it just slides along those grooves. It's got to snap into something, but I don't really know what. Let's have a look actually before we do it, because whatever it's snapping into, it'd be good to see. 
it just it just snaps in to that little crease there it's almost imperceptible but it is it does it is there a little bit of something like that's it I think that's just it yeah so the rubber is in place all the flaps all those little hooks are down looks good so then this thing goes in and it's just a rod that when you pull on the lever it pushes this outwards see the little grommet there and that just engages with this right down the bottom it engages with that little snap thing there so We go down to the bottom and try and line it up that way. There it is. And then push the O-ring seal into position on the top. And those two are a 15 TX15 bit rather than a TX10, but the TX10 did take them out, so it works okay too. There's not exactly a lot of force on these fasteners. So you just line it up and snap it together. Like that. That's it, snap back in. New filter or clean filter. 100 times better. Pretty good. Let's get some dust. I'd call that a success.